Yo, wait. <laughs> Say that again. That out on air. Say yes, that again. because my band, my band, uh, my grindcore extreme metal band is called Diarrhea Puku or Diarrhea Puku. And it's because Diarrhea by the ass. <laughs> Diarrhea. Yeah, yeah it's do. true. It's true. It's, it's a band. It's my grindcore band since uh, 20 years ago. That is. And that makes the perfect intro. Here goes. <laughs> 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 there was the perfect intro, I do believe. <laughs> Did I lose you now? Yes, I am here. Okay. Am here. <laughs> it made me, made me nervous there. I thought maybe I lost you. That was like the perfect no, no. intro. What? I, I am speaking with Ori Music because I was, uh, I need my fucking glasses. So ah. I, I almost blind. So, <laughs> getting blind are you <laughs> yes. well, I'm gonna it's, tag it's the, the long age you know yep. we are ancients <laughs> tag some tag stay Tired, sick too. So I'm tagging him. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. The Sticker Boys uh, told us in the in the bit change uh, Discord that in this time they're going to be asleep, no, in bed. Yeah, I tagged him anyway. <laughs> I told him they could yeah. stay up. It's. <laughs> that. The Venezuelan and the Spanish people, it's hard to, they being here because, you know, they are in the Spanish side. Yesterday, right. it was a big, a big people in the, in their show, in the Spanish show. Really? But I've popped, I've popped into that a couple of times, looked at it, because, you know, I can't really. <laughs> but the, the it, Spanish, yeah. But we, we've uh, when I did look into it, dude, there's a lot of people in Discord, freaking huge. And yes, I, I so mm -hmm. want to know what they're what's going to be said and played. But you got you guys do a real long. Freaking show. Anyways, I'm getting ahead of myself. I've won this tonight's episode, days, tonight's show, this episode. You guys probably know it's not who Puku. You can hear on the screen. Um, I've wanted to get Nahu on here for a long time. Well, not just from the beginning of Drop the Mic, but I wanted to. I was. Finally, I'm glad he came and hung out with us loud and proud. Dude, he, the dude is fucking, you're phenomenal, dude. That's all I got to say. The, the amount of shit you do for your fellow Venezuelans and the world in general is just amazing. The amount of stuff you and Ori. And I don't think people realize the extent to what you guys do. That just kind of blows my mind. <laughs> well, thanks a lot for your kind words. And uh, well, for me, it's very cool. I I am in the blockchain since four years ago. You know, 
Yeah. And well, I am I am from from Steamit. I I joined that um, that another community in the past. And well, in the first time or first day that I create my account, I create my Discord server until now. And I make that Discord because I want to share with the people some posts with uh, some guides. Guides to the people can make the post or make content. I know it's like an educational Discord server. And my room is for the people can the, can learn about the the mechanic of the hive and the blockchain and in the past uh, from a steamed uh, mood. So I I think that my labor is very cool because uh, we learn people we, we teach sorry we teach people to know about the platform and is of course is for free is a big room for the people can get all the posts that they need for upload videos for make the first post i i love to to copy all the fucking links that i can get in all the entire blockchain because i love to collect stuff so I collect that uh, guides and tutorial uh, post and I put there in that room. So in all these years, the people like too much to get this info because it's like a history. It's a, it's a history to our blockchain. So for me, it's very cool. And later we make a lot of uh, music shows, electronic music all night long. I mean, Friday night to 6 a.m. the Saturdays. A lot of music and the Wednesdays we have metal show. So all is in Spanish, but we love to make interviews to the Spanish community leaders. And you know, a lot of people come to our, our shows because we make a good um, labor for free and for Hive blockchain. Ah, that's cool. Just a real quick break. Ron, is that sound a lot better? Had a mic right there. Hopefully it was cool. <laughs> it sounds better, I guess. Wait, all right, cool. Yes. Now, I, I, I hear on Hive a lot. I read a lot about it. Hmm. Uh, don't. It's not bad. It's a, a little noise, white noise. There but no. but for me, it is a, a few noise. It's, it's not annoying for me. That ain't frequency. Mm, OBS. Uh, check one, check two. There's all of my filters are off. Check one, check two. Welcome to the audio. Audio, audio. Check one, check two. Test, test. test ah, sickle boys. That sound any better? Any better? Check one, check two. Check, check, test, test one, test two. Check, 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 check one. Oh, wow. that was too loud. Check one, check two. Test, test, test. Hi, Ori. How are you doing, Ron? Is this better? Ron, 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 Ron. Ron. Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I think I might have got it. All right, cool. 
Yep. Yes. <laughs> she she lives with me. <laughs> All right. Now, what I was trying to say before Ron so so brutally interrupted me was that you with your with your server, I see when well, not okay. Let me slow down. Back up. Beep beep beep. beep. Okay. <laughs> That's right. On Hive, I see all the time these posts all across the blockchain about onboarding people onto Hive. And there's there's always talk about how to do it, how to do it. But you guys are actually doing this in real life, sitting down with people right there and saying, showing them on the computer or, or their phone. This is how you do it. I'm going to hook you up, and boom, they're off to the races and running. You're doing it in real life, what people are talking about doing just on the Internet. And that is just that just blows my mind. It's like you guys have little, I don't know if you call them hive meetups or user yeah. groups. Yes, yes. Well, I'm going to share with you just right now this, this photo. This picture, sorry. Can you see it? Yeah. Well, this picture is from today. And she is a new user that Ori Music and myself, we are guide there. Uh, she, sorry, for create the post, for create uh, videos. And she upload uh, her third video two days ago maybe by her own so for us it's very cool because we can help venezuelan people to get into the platform and of course change your their lives with crypto and in four years ago um two times uh, in my house here in my house we create two big meetups a lot of people from Steemit come here, so for me it was very cool because a lot of Venezuelan people stay here, and a lot of artists, painters, musicians, so well. The people here in my city, Caracas, is the Venezuelan capital, uh, from the blockchain knows me, I think a lot of people, all the blockchain knows me here because I am always being here full for helps others. That is so And cool. for free, always. That because I some people here in Venezuela, but in another places or cities, uh, make a cool, um, you know, like a week uh, preparation and they asking for money for that. Wow. But because the people can earn money, for survive the crisis. But for us, we only make that because we wanna, uh, for for the bottom of our hearts, we wanna help others. Because the blockchain help us a lot for survive here or whatever. Yeah, that's very cool. But I'm going to play one of your songs here. Okay, uh, awesome. Do you want, you know, I know, you know, the people that are listening right now in the chat know that, you know, you're a musician. Um, but, you know, a lot of people that are going to listen to this later on the podcast probably don't know that. And you, you got me two songs here, Toxic Hoffman and Desperita mm -hmm. Amor. Did I pronounce that right? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> ah, yeah, wake up, wake up, uh, my love. It's because that lyrics is because I think uh, I have a very particular way to create music. I only record in one single take one time and all is jamming. All. I mean, I have more than, well, uh, well I have a lot of videos in YouTube and um, all all the videos is recording with that technique it's only jam session lyrics and music in the first time 
So when I was uh, when I won uh, I play in the first charts, I my uh, a lot of word words come into my mind. So this particular song is because a, a guy that passed away um, watch uh, he is a ghost and watch her uh, her girlfriend in the bed. So they don't want to scare her and. He, he she feel his soul and he he trying to don't scare her so this is the dynamic of the song okay and that's the song that i just posted in the chat yes okay how do you pronounce the name of that song uh, despierta amor or wake up my love okay uh, sorry it's because she had to go to the cemetery that day. So he uh, is a ghost and he says to her, hey, baby, wake up because you have to go into cemetery for because I'm going to bury it that day. <laughs> Something <laughs> like that. Okay. So here we go. We're going to play this. and I'm going to take a look at my, my microphone and see what the hell's going on. So here we go.
<laughs> that intro sounds like Yo quiero Taco Bell <laughs> Okay, now I've got A really, really Big, important question Especially because of watching that uh, Watching that video um, What's with the hairdo? <laughs> Well, <laughs> I have a lot, a lot of long hair in a lot of time of my life, but uh, I have um, uh, a foundation, I foundation for help others, you know? Yeah. I foundation. So I cut my hair, I cut my hair and I donate to children with a cancer disease in a hospital very near to my house and i make so <laughs> i make a campaign for the others can donate their you know their hair for weeks for the children's <laughs> that is so cool that is so cool and yes yes crim you are right i am 100 percent jealous <laughs> because i can't grow hair like that anymore <laughs> at my age well, but I like I like to have my well skinhead sounds very nasty shit. So, yeah. but I like uh, few 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 hair is cool for me too. Yeah, I I my hair is relatively short. I haven't I usually shave it in the summertime and let it grow in the winter so I can get have some kind of warmth up there. But I digress. We're not talking about hair right now. I just thought it was funny. <laughs> okay. Good idea, Krim. Yeah. Let's all donate hair together, which means I'll never be able to donate hair because I can't grow it to donate it. <laughs> but, well, I'm going to say another few stuff. Um, I I I am here in you know in well I was in Steam it you know yep. and. I was working with a Sir Cork, the witness, in You Are Hope. I don't know if you remember that a server and community. Yep. Well, I was part from the Venezuelan side of You Are Hope. So I like too much to help people around the globe. 
African people, Central American people, and here in Venezuela. So, well, for me, it's very cool because I can develop my own aid foundation that I have from, you know, if, if 15 years ago into crypto world. And a lot of people donate money with uh, or wallets for help people to, you know, have food. It's like this kind of post. Uh, sorry that I uh, wait a second and this. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, it's in Spanish, but I have the the English translation post. If you wanna take a look later, it's because we receive a lot of crypto money and we buy bo bought sorry a lot of food for give here to the crisis in Venezuela. Right. In if I remember right, that's the the yeah that's it that's the uh thing i was going to ask you about your your found foundation i guess is what you call it uh that's that's what no, here. When, when you first shared that link with me a while back i was like dude and then i got to seeing all the shit that you do outside of high you know you know that's not specifically about music and it's like holy shit you do a lot <laughs> and I, I don't think people realize that and, and you know my hat's off to you dude you, you you're you're right up there with with a couple of other people on hive that just you're up on a pedestal with me yeah that's fucking awesome that's a lot my friend yes we try to make the world better i, I think that crypto can save the world. I really think we are like a, you know, a, a crypto um, uh, Avengers or something like that, uh, rebel cyberpunks that we can fight against that, uh, this fucking government, the dictatorial government here or the big brother or whatever. We can fight with uh, being smart. That's right. And um, think it's global. Uh, thinking you know a global that we can with the mana we can help others that's awesome that okay. is so true and speaking of helping others you've got a new con uh, contest starting just started yes. what, the fourth a couple of days ago yes yes and uh, yesterday yesterday I, think so. yes. I don't even know what day I, it is anymore. well <laughs> well I have the announce, the official announce, uh, two uh, weeks before in my community, but yesterday uh, we make the official post cool. about the inviting people to our contest. Take a look. This is the post, and is about a capella contest because we don't have any kind of troubles with uh, tracks music tracks and copyrights into right. the monetized uh, three speak videos or whatever and ori music and myself we are fan to the voice uh, tv show so for us it's very cool that we can get some people here uh, in this contest and of course we are trying to to um, i don't think uh, we have to sorry I, I need some movement in my community. I, when I say some movement is the people can publish in our community. We are searching for delegation, stuff like that for helping others to vote, you know, so well, we, we develop in, in, in all this, uh, this month, uh, some contest. The, the the last year we give in prices more than 100 and a lot of of, of hives in prices <laughs> cool very cool. yeah so well we are in that in that way just right now so we make that this contest a weekly contest for give some prices to the people and vote the the post so we need uh, the the publicity for the people can upload in our community because this year we're gonna 
convert or transform the PUQ music uh, community in music community, but of course the same name, but we, we want to support metal and rock. We want to support a lot of metal posts and post, um, metal and rock creator content, but we need some links, you know, right. because we want to uh, bring here a lot of metal and rock people, friend of mine that play music, but we need some support because we are from, you know, we don't have that kind of extreme power to help um, get a lot of good votes. We need some links or alliances. Right. I I threw in some HBD. I think Beach Chain Community did yeah. too. Um, I don't remember yes. who else did. If it's they, some music. Uh, another community from here, from Venezuela. Sounds music. Oh, that's it. Now, if, if anybody wants to donate Hive or HBD to you guys for the contest, they're free to do that too, right? Yeah, or a delegation. Yeah, delegation. For That's what I mean. good, good, good votes to other people. But now we have an Aliento, it's a Spanish community. We have a link and some posts that the people publicity uh, publish, sorry, in our community receive the dang vote. Cool. That is fucking awesome. Yes, yes Grim. I, 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 Yes, Krim, you should combine with your heavy metal account and leverage full phrase radio. That of would course. Be awesome. For me, it will be amazing because we respect uh, a lot the Crimson work and we <laughs> watch the, her show every week. For <laughs> us, it will be amazing. And we want to make that, those links because we want to, we are friendly people. <laughs> We were way more friendly than that. Now, uh -huh. the, uh, oh, who was it? LK666 and his daughter uh, was the first entry into it. Yeah, that was, this was just a couple of days ago. I'm going to play the song, but the winner each week of, of the contest is going to be played on Drop the Mic and I'll most likely play them on Loud and Proud 2 that following Saturday. So just so that everybody knows, this isn't going to be the only time you hear this. You're going to hear the winner each week right here on this show. Yes, and it's, it's a very cool fact. LK666 LK have a community too, Metal High Community. He's awesome, uh, Moktra. He's awesome musician from the platform and this is the first time that he recording an a cappella song ever he told to me that for for him was a very very hard to do and he sing with her daughter and of course anathema song i love that fucking song it's very amazing the the original video is when the, the first time that I watched it, my soul was broken. So for me, it's an honor that LK666 make a song for our contest. For yeah. me, it's amazing. Yeah, and this, this song is, when I heard it, I was like, dude, they're, 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 they work good. Because the way his, his voice is and his daughter's voice, it's, it's like they complement each other just almost just perfect. And and it is it's fucking it's it's good. Just listen. If I can get it to play. Greetings everyone and welcome to The Singing Voice Week One. This is my daughter Camilla and I am LK six 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 on Hive. This week me and her are doing a a cappello cover of Anathema's Dreaming Light. Hope you enjoy. Suddenly Life has new meaning 
真理。I gotta shake the goosebumps off now. Wow. <laughs> that was just awesome. Are you there? No, you got not hope. <laughs> no. Yes, no, no. I am very, I am very, I'm very honored because for me, I respect a lot to LK666 like a musician and like a friend too. And that cover, that a cappella cover rules, man. It's another level, and the song, the original song, is beautiful. Is well, it's you know, it's like a hair breaking. You know, yes. it's it's very fucking. Um, yep, yep. So wow, well, for me, cool. and it's a for me the the the, the beautiful thing. I have to create a contest make this post you know it's a miracle for me it's a miracle it's very cool 
So, well, for me, it's a real uh, a sign that I am doing the good stuff. That's right. You know. You're doing the right thing. It's exactly the right thing. Sorry for my my English sucks a little bit because I never take lessons to English. I only learn because I listen metal since uh, uh, the 80s. Of course, Carcass, Napalde, Terrorizer, okay. Stream Noise Terror, okay. Pantera, Sepultura, right, Second right. Reich. So. All right, now that since you brought up the 80s and 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 learning stuff tell us about your background like uh you know where you're from that you know pink things that people don't know on hive well, tell us about your uh, i i mean mean like mm -hmm. you got hit by a bus dude i mean come on <laughs> yeah my my life is very strange my friend well my, i my parents, my parents passed away, but it when there was a life in the one uh, in eighty two. Uh, sorry for write that fucking. Uh -huh. They uh, was live. They was living in Florida, in Daytona, so uh, they have to come here to my 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 country because my mom was va was very ill. And that 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 fetus, you know, the fetus that my mom was there, almost uh, passed away. So she has to come here because my granddad, my granddad, he, uh, he was a doctor here, and my mom was in observation, was near to pass away. So she saves, and I save because uh, um. Take a look of this. My mom was crying a lot because doctors say that I was passed away, like a fetus, like aborted. Really? So, yeah, really, really, the doctor uh, and my mom was crying, of course, because they have to get that clinic abortion. And the doctor, um, um, uh, como se dice mix up the, the, the elevator button and click another one and he had a feeling and well that baby that you have carry on in your tomb was dead but I'm going to make another final checking for be, before the abortion <laughs> and well I move and I am here so what's this first fucking day? But when I had uh, seven years, uh, when I was a little kid, I felt into a riding horse. My foot <laughs> was in the, in the chair and uh, a lot of um, thorns of uh, the lemon tree was inserted in my body. And my, my family found me in a land with my uh, my hands like and uh, my arms like a cross position <laughs> <laughs> yeah oh, wow. well that that fucking um you know punch that i have in my back um develop a uh, two big tumors in my back because i had cancer two times and I had a radio, radio, radio therapy treatment. My hair was fucked up too. In that time, I developed gastritis. And when I was uh, curated from the cancer, my dad uh, passed away, and I was uh, in. I was into the church because my mom wanted that I was there in Catholic church because. They was passed away, and I was in the street, and a big autobus passed over my body, my two wow. legs, my right hand, my uh, my fingers was fractured. Was was a well was a very fucking accident, very bad. And well, when I was walking again, I felt into paragliding. <laughs> but on the other hand, 
I was musician since the 90s. I played extreme metal in extreme metal bands here. I dead metal, brutal dead metal, grindcore, noise core, and experimental stuff like Phantomas, um, Naked City, Mr. Bongo, stuff like that. And later I play in a in a very important band here in Venezuela. I toured a lot in a in a big circuit, and I really was a rock star 20 years ago. A rock star. <laughs> here exists a lot of money because cocaine and money from Miami or wherever. So the people have a lot of money, and well, we had a lot of mm, in industry, in music industry, very good. But later, when the revolution began here, the the socialism slash dictatorial shit. Well, all the producer gone away and whatever was very shit because a lot of people that I know friend was murdered, was tortured. Friend that played with me was tortured and disappears until today. Wow. But well, I studied. Yes, I studied uh, art, art history, art history in the university and anthropology. And I get the maximum degree and I travel to Amazonian forest and later I study lawyer and I was a professor, university professor teacher in the main university here, but my salary payment is only $2 per month. Sucks a lot. And I was, yes, it's, if this country is fucking up. And in the other hand, I was into intelligence uh, program police special because I was working for the human rights of the people that was uh, persecuted by the government. But the, the, because I am opposite to this fucking co uh, government, the government uh, persecutes me. So my head has a price. I was blacklisted. A lot of people that another people that I know uh, was murdered too, but I am alive because I am no worry to. I am I am like a warrior, I guess. But <laughs> I think that I love to help others. Uh, well, you know, I I was smart, and the people cannot uh, kill me here. But here is is hard. It's very extreme. I have to travel to the borderlands. And the Indians here, or the Aboriginal people here, was cannibal because we don't have any meat to eat. And the people here is a uh, odd loud. Uh, yes, it, it's very hard. The people here have chainsaw, AK-47, the, the the fire thrower shit. And well, here is it doesn't exist any kind of law. But I'm very lucky, I guess. And this is my. My life, I, I was working in the MoMA, the, the Metropolitan Art Museum to New York with my city national museum here, but I was fired and all the people because we are opposite to the government. So wow. I, I, I have a lot of persecution. I have three university degrees and five years ago, I was searching into garbage for eat food because I don't have money to, you know, eat food, to buy food, sorry, to buy food right. because very expensive. This country is fucked up, but we are warriors and we try to survive here and we try to help others to bring us into crypto world to fight against this fucking shit, this fucking mess. Nice. Uh, well, I think this, you, I think you should probably change your name to Unbreakable. <laughs> well, or Robocop. <laughs> Robocop. <laughs> well, this is Delta City. This is Detroit Delta City from the future, but now this is Mad Max, really. I think this is ultra violent city and um, this is the most dangerous place on earth, the city Caracas, but I am very cool walking in the street. I make some posts about that. I was walking with my two big knives and well, you know, my tobacco, my necklace, my uh, mohawk. I think that I have a protection, a mission. And well, I'm fine with that, but it's hard to live here. 
because of that I may I play green card because this country is the perfect uh, place to to develop a green card band is is in fake at all this is the real street sheet and um, you know it's like a human pogo because you never knows that any can come here and kill me wow <laughs> See, yes, it yeah. sucks. Like it's like a Russian KGB kind of thing. It's very hard to live here, my friend. But I am trapped here, we were and I try to make fun and music and laugh and smile. I make posts, or the music made posts, music music posts too. Because well, we are trapped here. We or we did make a depression and kill ourselves, or we try to solve the situation and make post and you know uh, buy some instrument i create some instruments too like my drum set whatever yes I, i'm loving that drum set you keep sending me pictures of that is so cool but we've got nine minutes left and i see Krim went to go get set up for her show um hey lp jumped in there and i never did say hi to mariano and, and Gabriel, sorry you guys, I wasn't ignoring you. you know, just busy talking, having a good conversation with Nahu here. Um, dude, I've got even more respect for what you do. It, it's, it's, it's just fucking blowing my mind. I didn't realize you were in Caracas. And yeah, I've heard some shit about Caracas. <laughs> Yeah, Polar's here listening too, but he's, he can't talk because he's driving. <laughs> Look out for that deer, Polar. This, but, but in another cities, it's worse the situation. In, in other cities, because here in Caracas, I have some kind of internet, some kind of electric light, some kind of potable water one hour per day. But in another places, they don't have electric power, internet, they don't have gas for make cooking, they don't have f to eat medicine, so it's insane. Here yes. I am like a king. You, you are amazing. And so are you, Ori. Not, not, not leaving you out here. But I want to play this one last song that you sent. We're going to play it on, okay. on the way out. It's three... Three minutes long, so we've got another five minutes to talk here. Um, okay. Re remind everybody about the, uh, what is it, Linktree slash Nahu Puku? Yes, I'm going to search again. Uh, wait a second. Like this is my Discord. If you want to join us, uh, well, be our guest. We are we have an English chat too because all is in Spanish, <laughs> but we can you know if you have some post link you can live there you know for us it's amazing. We have a, a start operation four years ago and it's still rocking. Oh yeah, by the way, tell them about your show that you guys do. Was it Monday nights for like six yes. freaking hours long? Well, it's very cool because um, we make a podcast to interview the community leaders, the, first, the season one, and we start the show 4 p.m. to 10 p.m. And later I was in the edition process to the next day until like a, a 14 hour, uh, you know, 10 or more hours editing and the show was very insane. Wow. But well, it's the work. It's the work. That ah, it's, it's another stuff. Well, we have to work a lot, Ori Music and myself works a lot because if we have a normal payment salary work, we don't get more than, you know, $2, $10, maybe. Um, $20 per month 
and the food here is very expensive. The medicines, the the musical instrument is insanely high uh, high prices. So, uh, Ori Music and myself we working in Hive and making posts and in the community uh, se seven days per week. Really? Wow. Really, seven days per week uh, since one year ago without non-stop. It's very cool, but for us, it's not a hobby because we have to survive here with with Cryptus. That that is that is amazing. Now you you guys see why I said it's it's it blows your mind how much he does outside of what just music. And you thought he was just a metalhead. <laughs> the and I listen a lot of, of music. I love I listen a lot of music. My I love metal, but I listen jazz, uh, ethnic music, whatever. Oh yeah, you're just a music lover, and that's that's what I am, and that's that's just fucking cool. So we're gonna play this song, and we're gonna you guys all go check out Nahu. Just look at that link tree and all the freaking links he's got, and, and go go check it out. Go join the join the contest, and just dude, just keep keep do keep pushing on, keep being unbreakable. Thanks a lot, my friend, for your kind words. And, and you'll be back on here, so you guys won't miss him. He he'll be around. <laughs> here we go. Para ver, no necesito tiempo para hacer 